Let's learn English with Taylor Swift. My name is Caitlin, I'm your teacher at Learn English on the Internet, and today we're looking at the song Picture to Burn. Let's go. Our first vocab is a verb phrase, state the obvious. The lyric from the song is, state the obvious, I didn't get my perfect fantasy. The definition of to state the obvious is to say something that is really clear or already known. It's kind of like saying, duh, I knew that. Example sentence, she didn't need to state the obvious. Everyone could see that it was a beautiful sunny day. Our second vocab is a noun, redneck. The lyric from the song is, you're a redneck heartbreak who's really bad at lying. The word redneck is a colloquial term or slang. Sometimes it can be used as a slight insult, but it's kind of common also to talk about white people who are working class, often from the South, though we use it in the North where I'm from too in the United States, and we usually use it to talk about people who work or live on farms. Interestingly, the origins of this slang term come from the fact that farmers often work hunched over, and so the back of their necks get sunburned or turn red. Example sentence, he's very proud of his redneck roots and loves to live in the countryside. Our third vocab word is a noun, heartbreak. This comes from the same lyric, you're a redneck heartbreak who's really bad at lying. Now, the definition of this is a person who often breaks other people's hearts or makes them fall in love with them and then breaks up with them or doesn't fall in love back. In this example, Taylor is using a bit of artistic license because usually we call these people heartbreakers with an ER, but she's taken the ER off and is just calling them a heartbreak. Example sentence. He was really cute in high school and total heartbreak to all of the girls. Our fourth vocab is to strike a match, which is a verb phrase. And in this instance, we're going to use it metaphorically as opposed to literally. The lyric is, so watch me strike a match on all my wasted time. Now, the literal definition of to strike a match is to take a match, a small piece of wood, with a material at the end that catches fire and strike it or run it quickly against the other material that also catches fire and then to have a lit fire. But here we're using it metaphorically, which means we're talking about no real fire and no real matches, but rather the idea of causing some trouble or making something start to happen which isn't good. Example sentence, his criticism seemed to strike a match and she got very angry with him. Vocab number five is a verb phrase, to keep it to yourself. The lyric from the song is, if you're missing me, you better keep it to yourself. The definition of to keep it or to keep something to yourself is not to talk about it and not to tell anyone else. So if you have a secret, you can say, listen, I'm telling you this, but you need to keep it to yourself. Don't talk about it with anyone else. Example sentence, if you have a secret, you should probably keep it to yourself. Our sixth vocab is a noun, revenge. The lyric is, I'm just sitting here planning my revenge. The definition of revenge is something you do to someone which is not very nice because of something they already did to you which was also not very nice. The verbs that we often use with revenge are to seek revenge, to get revenge, or to have revenge. Example sentence, seeking revenge can often lead to a vicious cycle of constantly going around and around and around. Vocab number seven is an adjective, obsessive. The lyric is, so go and tell your friends that I'm obsessive and crazy. The definition of obsessive means that you have an unhealthy or high level of interest in something or someone. Example sentence, 
His obsessive focus on work meant he didn't have time for his friends. Vocab 8 is an idiomatic expression, as far as I'm concerned. The lyric is, as far as I'm concerned, you're just another picture to burn. The definition is, in my point of view. Example sentences, as far as I'm concerned, the project was a total success. Vocab 9 is a noun, pickup truck. The lyric is, I hate that stupid old pickup truck you never let me drive. The definition of a pickup truck is a small vehicle that has a cab in the front and a flat bed in the back. The bed can be used to carry things and the entire truck is often used to pull or haul other things like a trailer. This type of vehicle is very common in the countryside. Example sentence. Having a pickup truck is really handy when you need to move big furniture. And our last vocab today is a noun phrase, wasted time. The lyric is, so watch me strike a match on all my wasted time. The definition of wasted time is when time is spent and there is no result. This time was used in a bad way. You didn't get what you want or needed from it. Example sentence, Scrolling through social media when you're not learning anything can feel a lot like wasted time. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here with me at Learn English on the Internet. If you have any questions about the words or phrases that we reviewed today, please feel free to put them in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Goodbye.